The world of academic writing is changing rapidly and the major and the biggest issue is that, that the writers are not aware about the process they have to adopt while using AI tools for their academic writing. I have talked multiple times in my previous videos about the process and mindset you have to adopt while writing any kind of a research document with the help of these AI tools if you want to make your document plagiarism and AI detection free. This video is specifically focusing on the major issue and that is the AI detection internal report and how you can deal with it. But before moving forward and understanding the process, make sure one thing that either you are using paid AI tools for writing your academic document or you are using free including chat GPT, Gemini or DeepSeek, your writing will come 100% as AI written content in the report of AI detection. So whenever you are using any kind of a tool of academic writing, make sure you are rephrasing it properly and you are breaking the code of AI from your content and this is the only way you can make your document safe from AI detection and when the questions come that how we can make our document AI and plagiarism free there is only one solution and that is paraphrasing in paraphrasing basically we are restructuring the information and we are rewriting the information in our own words but doing that actually we are breaking the coding of AI that have been done on each word of the sentence which we write with the help of AI tools. For example, if I say my name is Dr. Rizwana and I do write this sentence with the help of AI, there is a coding of AI on the complete sentence and to break that we have to restructure the information and have to shuffle those words so that that coding can be break and our document can be AI and plagiarism free. There are two methods again for that either you can do it manually or you can take the help of multiple AI tools which are available in the market. We will focus in this video about a very promising tool which are going to do this work in a matter of seconds for you. So stay tuned. So first of all we are going to write a document. I am using a free tool and this is the tool which I recommend most of you while writing and while brainstorming any of your research topic or research idea is the Gemini AI by Google Bard. You can also use a very promising tool of Google for reference based research writing in free and you can find a link uh, from the i button or you can find all the promising tool below in the description and you can explore that how this tool is helping you to write any kind of a document free with references but we are using Gemini AI and I'm going to ask it to write a 500 word essay about the application of ionic liquors I'm just creating a sample for you in front of you and we are going to deal with this sample and we will see that how this AI written content can bypass AI detection and plagiarism report at turn it in. So watch till the end. So ionic liquids are a class of organic solvents that are liquid at are below 100 degrees Celsius. They have gained significant attention in recent years due to their unique properties and wide range of applications. This essay will discuss some of the most important applications of the ionic liquids. And here you can see as I have turned on this feature, uh, which is double check response and you can create any document with the references with the help of uh, Gemini AI. So I'm going to just copy this and I can even copy the list of references and I'm going to paste it in Google Docs. At the moment I'm going to delete all the references. Oh. Let's check the report of this specific content on Turnitin before moving forward to see the percentage of AI detection and plagiarism and then I will show you that how we are going to remove this and make this document 100% human written content. As you can see this content which have been written with the help of a Gemini AI showing us 6% plagiarism and let's have a look on the report of AI percentage. As this content has been written 100% by AI tool, that's why we can see the percentage of AI detection which is 100% and we have to deal with this number and definitely when we are removing AI detection, we will be able to overcome this 6% number of plagiarism also. There are two ways to dealing with this. The first one is by manual paraphrasing and the second one is by using AI tools as I told earlier. When we are doing a manual paraphrasing, we have to keep some few points in mind which make 
cover paraphrasing process much easier and compatible. The first thing we can do while doing manual paraphrasing is that we can restructure the information and we can convert activized sentence into passivized sentence. So for example, ionic liquids are a class of organic solvents that are liquid at or below 100 degrees Celsius. So I can say that a type of organic solvents that are liquid at a temperature less than 100 degrees Celsius are known as ionic liquids. Then we can also break long sentences into short and can even combine short sentences and can make a long sentences with the help of them. For example, they have gained significant intention in recent years due to their unique properties and wide range of applications. They have a wide range of applications in chemistry or in sciences we can say and then we can make another sentence due to these properties they are gaining significant attention in the field of science or in the in the research field. Then we can use some synonyms like instead of gained we can use they have earned or they are getting significant attention, prominent attention or they are being highlighted as a very prominent solvents. So you can play at this point and you can keep the writing under control and by changing the synonyms, by breaking the sentence or by combining the sentences and by changing the activize into passivize and passivize into activize, you can do this manually. But if you want to take the help of AI tools, then we will explore anashare.ai and we are going to check its AI bypass feature which is going to help us to transform AI content to human-like and undetectable text and when we look at the three different type of rephrasing this tool is providing us we can see that we can even do fast rephrasing we can do balanced in which our text will be more evenly bypass advanced AI detectors and when we turn on ultra enhanced paraphrasing or rephrasing we will be able to bypass even the strict AI detectors in the market including Originality AI and Turnitin which are very much strict while providing you the AI detection report. So we are going to copy this text and are going to paste here. At the moment we are using its balanced mode and before moving forward we can even check the AI of this document here and we will compare the report of this tool of AI detection percentage with the Turnitin. So this input content is likely AI generated according to this tool. This is 100% AI written content as you can see all the AI detection tools have detected this content as AI written content. So we will press humanize button and we will get a text which will be paraphrased and have a less percentage or zero percentage of AI detection. So after we get the uh, rephrase content, Tanashare AI will provide us AI detection report again. And according to this, this content is not be able to submit because this is again showing AI detection in it. So we can change the mode even or we can do the double run by staying in the same mode. So as we change the mode and uh, we are getting again the report of AI detection. So this output content is likely human written and all the AI detection tools which are being used in corporate world have passed this content as a human written content. We copy this content and we'll paste it here. Now at this point before submitting this document to your department or if it's a research paper then to the journal you have to look critically because this paraphrasing may have some problems may have some misinformation so you have to check critically and can fix this information manually but let's have a look about the type of rephrasing this tool done for us ionic liquids are a class of organic solvents that at or near 100 degrees celsius are liquid over the past few decades ionic liquids have gained a tremendous amount of popularity owing to their interesting properties and vast applications so here is a trick. For example, you like some words which are being used in the previous document which AI have generated for you. You can type them manually in your document. For example, if I like this significant attention, be, be, instead of doing a copy and pasting it in my document, I will do manual typing of this keyword in my document and this will also keep my document safe. I'm not copying the coding of the AI from this content. I'm, I'm just just typing it manually. So this document is seem quite promising and the written content seems very much likely to the original content but again you can do some manual work before submitting this content. So let's have a look on the Turnitin report and we will see the difference between the original content and the paraphrase content by Tanisha.ai. So I'm going to 
rename this document and going to download it. You can find the tool of this link from the description box to give it a free try. Now you can see there is a fraction of uh, plagiarism in this document which is uh, very easy to tackle but we can see that there is no percentage of AI detection in the document which have been rephrased by Tanashore.ai. So it's mean that its AI detecting feature is working as compatible as of Turnitin in detecting the AI percentage in your content and when we look at the paraphrasing feature it's this feature is working efficiently because this is not only going to help you to restructure your information in a fraction of minutes which will take definitely hours if we do it manually but also helping you to overcome AI detection and plagiarism in your document if you want to give this tool a free try don't forget to get the link from the description box and also share your feedback in the comment section and any difficulty you are facing while using this tool you can also visit my website the link is available below for any kind of assistance in your research journey I will see you in another video till then take care of yourself. Bye.